A long Beirut corniche at seaside promenade. The talk is of Najib Mikati. And if the newly appointed prime minister designate is the right man for the job, of pulling Lebanon out of political deadlock and its dire financial situation. For many Lebanese, the 65 year old billionaire, who's already been premier twice, is emblematic of crony politics and corruption. He's a thief. He's like all the others who have looted the country. The same people have been in power for 40 to 50 years. They still steal. With hyperinflation and shortages of medicine, fuel and electricity, Lebanon is facing what the World Bank calls the worst financial crisis seen worldwide in 150 years. And the telecommunications mogul is not, for many, the type of technocrat that's needed to enact sweeping reforms ones that the international community is requiring in exchange for financial support. We have tried the current politicians, and we won't make the same mistakes again. We want someone new, someone young, someone competent. But Mikheti could be capable of forming a government and breaking a year-long political deadlock. It's not tied to one person, it's tied to something larger. In the end, Najib Mikati is the result of a compromise, a result of the composition of the country's ruling class. Endorsed by most of Lebanon's political parties, he is, for them, a consensus candidate, one that may be able to navigate the fraught, power-sharing system in Lebanon.